Hi YouTube, I just thought I'd do a quick video on how you can use Ulaunch Elf um, on a PS2 in order to launch PlayStation 1 backups. So all you need is PlayStation 2 that you can either use a slide tool on or that you can block the sensors on if it's a slim. You need free MacBook memory card and you need an official PlayStation 1 game as well as your burned PlayStation 1 game. I'll just show you how that works. Alright YouTube, this is how we play burned PlayStation games on a PS2. As you can see I'm using my easy to swap PS2 here. Uh, you've got to have a burned disc, in this case Final Fantasy VI, that I decrypted from my digital eboot that I bought, so I don't have a physical version of Final Fantasy VI. But I do have a digital version that I've turned into this CD, this burn CD, and my legit game that I'm using to boot it is Spyro the Dragon. So, put Spyro the Dragon into the console, be very careful not to scratch it on anything, close the lid, and turn it on. I've got it set up so it boots straight into Freemunk boot, that's quite important because it stops the disk from auto-booting, which you don't want to do. It will go into the browser, and it will register the disk, but it hasn't auto-booted. Right, so we press circle to go back out to the main free boot menu, and we want to launch you launch Elf. And as you'll see, the disk is still spinning now, but once I launch you launch Elf, the, the disk will stop spinning. So we launch you launch Elf, and take the disc out, obviously put it somewhere safe, take your burnt disc and put it in. Now you want to go to file browser and then on the file browser you want to go down to misc and press circle to select it and then go to PS2 disc and then press circle to select it. The disc will spin up again, obviously I need to close this because I've got I've not blocked the disc break, as I've said previously, but it will automatically launch the game and work perfectly with any PlayStation 1 backups. So you really, there's no real trick to it. You don't need cog swap. Let's just get the game actually running a bit so you can see. I burned this game at 10x because it was the slowest my drive could go, but I'm under the impression if I could have burned at 4x, it would have actually worked better. But as you can see, this cutscene is working fine. If I skip past it, here's the Final Fantasy VI intro. Skip past that. And here we are on the main menu. So, you really, it doesn't take a lot. You don't even need cog swap. You literally just need free MacBook at all in order to play well and a legit playstation game it doesn't have to be spyro it just has to be anything the region lock thing needs to be read by the playstation then you launch elf stops the disc and you swap it as if you were doing a disc swap except without the having to be very quick swapping the discs so if you liked it please leave a like um thanks for watching